jewelry and all of Facebook land. And we have Matthew James, a.k.a. Shep, over here. Hello, everyone. Uh, he's letting me run the show today, so I'm really excited. This is our grab bag show. Um, let's do a little close-up of the jewelry and then do our intro. What do we have today? Oh, camera, camera three. three. Hello, Rita. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> What else can we say? <laughs> Orally! <laughs> it's more fun that way. Hi, everybody! Hi, everyone! Hi, Howdy. Rita! Hi, Denise! Hi, Brandy! We're so excited that you're with us today on this, well, here in Albuquerque, very windy Tuesday afternoon. Hopefully, the weather's better where you guys are. So, um,. While we're waiting for everybody to join us, I have a few deep personal questions for Shep. Starting with Shep, what's your favorite band? Oh man, that's hard. Okay, I, you can do three if you really need to. Well, I just go back and forth so much. I, I like instrumental music, and this is you know I don't know. I I really like classical music, Vivaldi. Okay, yes. Yeah, I can, when I'm working up in the office, I, I'll turn it on and just kind of zone out. I also listen to some, it's more ambiance music. You know, when, 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 when there's lyrics and things, I start getting distracted. And, mm. But when I'm working, mm -hmm. and I work a lot, Yeah. as you know. Yes, uh, <laughs> we, we caught that. I often have uh, uh, ambiance music, even like old Nintendo game music or... Uh, <laughs> I can yeah. feel that. When I'm writing, I can't have lyrics. And yeah, if I'm in the writing sometimes. zone. Yeah. I do a lot of, um, like, flamenco or salsa. Yeah. Or um, if I do feel like doing some lyrics, like Spanish, because then I don't know what they're saying. I do love flamenco music. I'll put it on the gallery a lot, and I yes. think people are getting tired of my flamenco stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had grown up in a, in a place where I could have done flamenco as a kid. That would have been really cool. I think that was my calling. I missed it. Depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm chili peppers. Okay. Sometimes I, uh, you know, I get a little harder on the rock sometimes, um, but yeah. How are you? What's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> I would have to say that my all-time top favorite would have to be the Rolling Stones. Really? Yeah. Yes. I'm a classic rock girl. Followed by, of course, Elvis, obviously. <laughs> Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. That was my favorite song for a long time. You know, when I was little... Uh, my parents watched this TV show. I think it was called Call of Duty. Okay. Uh, and that was the theme song for the show. I had no idea, uh, but that was, I had that tune in my head for years and years and years. And I, I was probably a baby. And uh, like I would always talk about this song. I could never explain it because I was so little that yeah. I could never <laughs> explain what it was. And then one day, like 10 years later, when I was a teenager and I could form words, um, finally, after being a teenager, uh, <laughs> took a while, huh? I, I that song came on the radio, and I was like, "That's it! That's the song! That's, that's the, song. the one!" And I got super, that's super cool. Excited. I always play the Rolling Stones for my baby, and but Garth or not Garth Brooks, um, sorry, uh, George Strait will always put her to sleep. Uncle George, <laughs> that's Pink her. Floyd. Pink Floyd's good. Yeah. Susan Navarro says Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. Country, yes, I'm a big, ooh, classic country. Nashville is one of my favorite places in the world. Johnny Cash. Um, yes, awesome. All right, who wants to see some jewelry? If you didn't uh, tune in earlier when I was going on my spiel, today is our grab bag show, which basically means we go upstairs at about 3 o'clock, we get handed a mystery box, and then we get to open it and see what's going to be in the show today. So it's a surprise for us, and it's a surprise for you. And today we've got some really pretty earrings um, and about four or five rings that we're excited to talk about. Some vintage rings. Dolly Parton, yes. Grandma Dolly. <laughs> All right, let's get started. You have started. a pig name after a Dolly Parton song, don't you? Oh, <laughs> yes. So <laughs> we have three pet pigs, and the newest pig has red fur, and her first name's Sophia. She's my husband's piggy. And when she was little, he would put her in his convertible, and they'd go cruising around, and her little ears would be flapping in the wind. And so I said, that pig shouldn't be called Sophia. She should be called Jolene, because that redhead's trying to steal my man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <It's> perfect. <laughs> Let's get into the first pair. Let's hit me with a close-up. 
Ooh. Ooh, that is that's a it is a little bright, isn't it? A little it? bright. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn that down. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's good. You see the detail. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We've been yeah. living in the dark for so long. Let's we got some new lights. Shine a little light on it. So we have this beautiful hishi shell, and I believe this is green turquoise. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. This is yummy. It looks so much in my eye. I mean, it looks great on camera, but in person, I just want to touch it. It's so tactile. Um, Shep, what is the story on these? Are these, uh, these the, are Navajo, correct? I, I believe those are Santo Domingo. If Santo you look Domingo. on the back on the tag, I think it might say. Uh, oh, here we go. Raymond Bird. Raymond, Raymond Bird, Bird is. Uh, Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. So that's just up the way. We used to call it SD back at Santa Fe Indian School, where I went to high school. These are retailing for 60 bucks, and they're going to be 20% off today, which is a great price for these. Our, our boys are doing the math back there. That puts them at $48. These are completely handcrafted, made right here in New Mexico, Land of Enchantment by Raymond Bird. I'm going to go ahead and Put, the, put one of these on so you can get kind of an idea of the length and the dingle. So, these beauties, if you want to put a little close up on those of what I'm wearing today, are also for sale. Turquoise, and this is, ooh, ooh, wild, no, wild horse? Yeah, wild horse. Wild horse, ah, oh, I did it! Wild 10 points, ding, side. ding, ding, ding. Sold. Oh, I didn't even get to try them on. Good job, Trudy, getting the... Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Mickey. 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 Wow. Mickey's number one. Mickey, congratulations. Let's give her a drum beat. Yeah. Congratulations, Mickey. I'm sorry, Susan and Trudy. We have a lot of other beauties up here, though, so get your trigger fingers ready. All right, we'll set these aside for Mickey. I'm going to put them right here, darling. When you have a chance, right. just come and grab them. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave one earring off while we go through these. So I'll just be a, a one earring girl for a bit. Um, oh, these are sweet. I love these. These have such a great, uh, almost, I would, you know, like a boho feel about them. So they're perfect for your road trip through the desert. Obviously, those are the saguaros, which in fact do not grow in New Mexico. That is a common misconception. They are actually native to Arizona. There's a couple down south on the like the border right there. But okay, I can see not, that. You're, yeah, you're, you're right. Like we don't see them in New Mexico. Yeah, they're not really a New Mexico um, landmark like they are for Arizona. But I was totally thinking about that when I was driving that strip. I was like, we don't see these cactuses in New Mexico. And when we crossed that line, that state line, and there was like a mile of them, and I was like, oh, they're there. Really? Yeah. I bet somebody planted them. Was like, we're gonna introduce these. Uh, so these have beautiful little stamp flowers. I think you can probably see that detail in the camera there. A little nugget of turquoise. Very sweet. These are also going to be 48 today. That's the sale price. The artist is Lorraine Chi. So uh, Chi, Navajo. that sounds like a Navajo last name to me. Yeah. Chi. I think that means red. Does it? I think so. I am a... Uh, not a not a not a full speaker, but I do know a few words. Got a Navajo. Ironically, there's a Navajo language instructor. I think he's with Naka. Uh -huh. His name is Chi. And yeah, so I went to Carla. I went so to good. school with the Chi. Oh, they keep buying them right before I get to try them yeah. on. But that's how they're gonna look. Sweet little dangles. I love dangles. Carla, congratulations, Carla. Let's hit her with that Carla drum beat. Stevens on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we will disinfect all of these before we send them. I'm not going to send them with my ear cooties. Are the ear wires, ear wires a gold color? Are the ear wires gold? No, I don't think so. No, they're silver. They're, sir, they're, bleh, they're silver. Sterling silver. Okay, number three. We're moving right along. It is pretty. It has a vintage -y look about it, but I don't think it is vintage. So see on the tag. Anything? It's a size five. It's retailing for one twenty. Size five. That's my size. What are my sizes? Let's see. Oh, Laura's asking how much the earrings that you're wearing are. Oh, good question. <coughs> I actually don't know. Let me find the card. 
I just go up there and I get to play dress up? Um, the earrings that I have on are three seventy five. Those are Eddie Secretaro. Oh, no wonder I like them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little one. It's actually I have pretty small hands and it's it's a pinky ring on me. So it'd be nice if you have little hands or if you have a young person. Hi, Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie. <laughs> Brenda Rose sold the earrings on Ooh. Hello. Brenda Rose, uh, How fun. we were looking, you know, I thought of you, but it wasn't just the magnesite studs because we were looking for magnesite studs for Brenda, uh -huh. but these have magnesite in them and uh, it'll, it'll be 20% off that price, Brenda, that uh, we just talked about. So congratulations. What size ring is this? It is a size five. Thank you. All right, Brenda, I will take them off. So I won't tempt anybody else with these beauties. Congratulations. Um, what can I tell you about this? This is an interesting pattern around the uh, piece of turquoise. I'm actually not familiar with this technique. Shep, what can you tell us about this? Let me see. Uh, that's all stamp work. That is stamp work? Mm -hmm. It's just interesting. Almost looks like uh, hooves, like deer hooves. It reminds me kind of of like the patterning on arrowheads, like in the rock, the yeah. way they chip the yeah, rocks. Yeah, right, when they like, when they're carving the arrowhead and mm -hmm. chipping it. And yeah, that's super cool. I, I don't think I've seen a ring like that, or at least stamp cool. work like that. Yeah, it is stamp work. Get a close up on there and see how it goes. I know it's a never ending battle with that camera. And you're going to be too close for that lens, I think. There you go. There, everyone can see it now. Does that look okay? That stone's a little bluer than it's showing up. Um, Diego, can you lower the exposure on this just a smidge? I can try. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I don't know which button to press. Here, I'll, oh, I'll, I gotcha. Okay. I'm just going to open the aperture up. That's good. That's actually a little too dark. That looks perfect. It's okay? Yeah. There. That gives you a good idea of what that blue looks like. Yeah. I'm going to raise this just a little bit so you can zoom in on it. Awesome. There we go. Thanks for bearing with us, guys. There. There. Now you can see all the detail and the color. Yeah, she's pretty. She is small. Uh, I think that would be a sweet gift, though, for a young person in your life. Alrighty, that's number three. We're going to go to number four. I really like the designs of these squashes. So the reason they're called squash blossoms, does anybody know? Out there in Facebook world? I'll give you a chance. Oh, Debbie is taking home that ring. Congratulations, Debbie. Oh, congratulations, Debbie. These are uh, Navajo Juan Begay Jr. They're retailing for $140. And they're squash blossoms. So you'll see this design on the side of, the, of course, the squash blossom necklaces. But the reason that they're called squash blossoms is because the tips here resemble the blossom of the squash plant, which is one of our sacred plants, one of our sacred foods, and the water would collect, the rainwater would collect on those flowers and help during the monsoon season to get the plants all of the moisture that they needed to make their fruit. What was the price on those? These were 140, Juan Bigay, Jr. So 112. All right, I'm gonna the sale. I'm going to put them on. I have on my, my Masani scarf today. Masani means grandma. Our, our grandmothers used to love to wear these scarves. Not just with Navajo people, but I think a lot of different grandmas would wear these cute little scarves. So I wanted to be a little festive today. There we go. But I told Shep, I don't know if I'm looking like a little Navajo grandma more or a fortune teller. 
I guess I can be both. <laughs> A Navajo grandma who is also a fortune teller. A Navajo grandma who is also a fortune That's going to be me one day. I'll be freaking out all my grandbabies. <laughs> yeah, we got a little close up here. There we go. I love these. If nobody buys these, I'm taking them home. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> from happy days. <laughs> I am an old soul. Alright. We are going oh, I'm gonna put that back on there. Alright, shall we look at number five? Oh, she has her scarf on also. Love it. These are super cute. I get it from a company called Inspired by Dene Bazad and they do a lot of graphic tees. They're a Navajo company. And they also sell these Masani scarves in all sorts of different colors. So I'm going to start a collection, I think, because I love them. Those look Santa Domingo to me. They do to me as well. Let's see who the artist is. Irene Lovato. Lovato is definitely a Santa Domingo artist. So we've got some beautiful coral pieces and then the turquoise. Hoops. Oh, man, that's awesome. Well, oblong hoops. Um, these are going for 140 before the discount. 112. So that makes them 112 on sale today. Is that camera still sold? Number five. Um, oh, okay. I don't have to try them on. <laughs> Congratulations, Trudy. Trudy. I'm sorry, Debbie, she beat you to it. Ooh, but we have, oh, we're switching gears to rings, but we do have two pairs of earrings that are gonna be left, so you wanna stay tuned for that. All right, here's a sweet little ring. Where's my little? Where'd your stand go? Where'd my finger go? Oh, it's over here, Diego stole it. <gasps> Diego stole my finger. <laughs> this is a great little malachite ring. Uh, size nine hundred dollars before the discount, so that's eighty. Oh, that thin me. I would still buy myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard not to just sit here and shop for ourselves all day. I know it makes my husband nervous every time I come over here. <laughs> it's like two to three sizes too small for me. <laughs> oh darn it! And this one probably can't be sized at all because nope. it's got stones all the way around the malachite. I'm nine. Malachite is a great stone for healing and also for manifesting money. Who doesn't need more of that? So where am I? There I am. I think, let's go to this other camera. There it looks more true to what's actually happening back here. This would be a great ring for a lady or a gentleman. It's got a nice unisex vibe about it. And I don't know too much more about it. Um, I'm not sure who made it. It doesn't say. And the chef knows. It looks Zuni. Uh, Zuni? That, mm -hmm. well, I need it. Is there a hallmark in it? Um, I, don't know, I didn't see one. Let's see. No. Just the sterling stamp. Can't see. So, oh, sold. Christine Miller says sold. Awesome. Sold to Christine Miller. Congratulations, Christine. I really love malachite. It's a great stone. All right, number seven. This is green turquoise? That's a really deep green. It's that the color is. of malachite, but it's not malachite. Yeah, that's. We talked about this last week with uh, with turquoise. Um, mm -hmm. How it can get really green like that. I mean, it, it could be broken arrow turquoise, honestly, which is a turquoise mine that has dark green turquoise like that. It's nice and shiny. 
one is also on polish. sale for eighty dollars, and it is a size six. That's a little fuzzy. Let me fix our. We need to get an autofocus on this one, don't we? Yeah, it just puts the the rectangle. There we go. A oh, little rectangle. Yeah, I think it's a little <laughs> annoying. No, no one seems to mind. This looks to me like a Navajo design. It looks like Navajo design to me too. That is a sweet little ring. And I love that deep green turquoise. This would be a great little ring for a young person in your life. Or a small finger in your life. Or a small finger, uh, yeah. I like big rings and big necklaces and big earrings. So. <laughs> now that I'm a mama, every time I see a sweet little piece of jewelry, I think, oh, I want to get that for my baby. But, you know, she's a baby. <laughs> Did you see the baby bracelet Devin made? Don't even tempt me with something like that. I already have my <laughs> eye on that. There's this little baby squash blossom up there, and every day I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to number eight. Hey Debbie, I think they, uh, I think they might have already shipped it. I'll, I'll go double check for you after the show. And this is white turquoise. Yes, it looks like turquoise. It looks like white turquoise. It has a vintage patina about it. Oh, Debbie, actually, I think I saw it ready to ship. Did you, you paid for it today to, to finish it off? I think it's going to go out tomorrow morning. Is this vintage? It sure feels like mm -hmm. it. I think a couple of those were from the Indian TP and they're old vintage rings. Yeah, it reminds me of some of the stuff we showed last week. Yeah. It is cute. I love this one. Oof. It's um, 80 before the discount and the size is 8.5. I really like that stone. 64. Can we zoom in here? Maybe. Ooh, where are we? Yep, it's got that early 70s look. Ugh, I love it. I like that open shank too. Look how pretty that is. It's so feminine and delicate. Um, are we calling this white buffalo? I think in general, like, I didn't buy the turquoise from the mine. Um, by default, most people are calling this white buffalo turquoise. It is a pretty stone, Debbie. I'm very smitten with it. I'll go check on your order, Debbie. Make sure. I, I think they're going to get some insurance on it and stuff. I'm not charging you anything for that or anything, but I think it's just we want to ship priority with a piece like that. How? There I go. Look how cool that shank is on the side. That's I good. love it. Alrighty. Number nine. Every time I say number nine, I think of that weird Beatles song off the White Album. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Number nine? Number nine? <laughs> this is certainly vintage and super cool. Coral ring. Most likely Navajo. Um, also retailing for 80 before the discount and size 7.5. I guess everyone had teeny little fingers back in the 70s to go with their teeny little Levi's. That pretty clear. That's really clear. That I really great. just love that design that uh, around the ring, that floral, almost like a tulip. It's so abstract. It just it reminds me of um, that era, that mid-century modern sort of deco abstract era. The white buffalo was a uh, good question. Uh, Sixty-four. Sixty-four. Number eight. White Buffalo to Susan? Uh, no. No? What? Uh, Susan wants, I think, this coral ring. Susan, Tino. Coral, and Tina. Tina wants White Buffalo. Awesome. It's kind of an interesting gray matrix in that White Buffalo. Mm -hmm, it's really neat. Yeah, that will go to Tina Rios and then Susan Navarro uh, is purchasing the coral. coral that's on screen right now. Congratulations. Congratulations, Susan and Tina. 
Those are two very cute rings. Alright, whoever wanted those hoops last time, get your trigger finger ready. Look at these beauties. Turquoise. Uh, is it he she if it's not a shell? Yep. Still he she? It's, Still the, he -she. it's the bead shape, it's a right? Bead, yeah. He she, uh, turquoise, he she. Are we thinking Santo Domingo? Uh, Deborah, no. Doreen Jake. Doreen Jake. Doreen Jake is Navajo. Navajo, okay. And they're sold to Debbie Waterman. <laughs> and uh, Ramona wants number seven the uh, green turquoise ring. Fabulous. Thank you, ladies. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're going to have a sellout show today. Are they leaving these for me? Probably. Are you leaving these for me, ladies? <laughs> You're making my husband's worst fears come true if you do. Hi, Tina. Thank you for joining us tonight, <laughs> and congratulations on your piece. Uh, all we need is your email, so you can contact us here at the shop. Um, you can find us at tskies.com. You can message us on Facebook or call us here, 505-862-9443. Uh, and uh, we just need your email, and we can send you an invoice. All right, here we go. This is our last pair. I was ac I actually have a pair very similar similar to these that I almost wore today. What's super cool about these is that the these little charm dangles move around. Get some movement in there, yeah. Yes, they're musical and what sculptural. Was, what was the price on those hoop earrings? Chris wants to know what they would have been. Uh, 140, so... 112. 112. 112, Chris. So, okay, so these are... Uh, Pauline Armstrong is the artist. I think, I, I believe she's Navajo as well. And some, some of these pieces I didn't buy directly from the artist. I went to, uh, we've got in some pieces from Indian Teepee. Uh, and I just have a whole bunch of earrings and rings and stuff. From, and they only bought native. Okay. So we're still kind of going through some of their inventory. And these are 60 before the discount. I gotta show what? you what these look 60 like. 60 before on. the discount? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, 48. Now you can see really how cool these are. They wiggle. They move. They're like a chandelier. They're a chandelier earring. Sold, Rita. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. You got your small cuff? Awesome. I'd love to. Well, I'd, I'd love to see uh, your little wrist. Devin made a Devin made a baby bracelet the other day, and it it reminded me of like um, a bracelet that. I got someone at one time, and yeah, those little bracelets, those are just great little memory yeah. things. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, the baby, your baby shoes. Yes. Out and and uh, I've, seen, I've been seeing more and more people buy baby bracelets for, for the kids. This is also on sale, ladies, if anyone's just in a shopping mood. Um, the pendant and the uh, necklace are separate. So that is one of our neck bars. We call Omega Bars. What do we call them? The Omega Bar. Omega Bar. Yeah, it makes cool. the Omega Greek symbol, kind of. Oh, okay. That makes yeah. sense. And this is our Wild Horse Turquoise? Yep. And it's an Eddie Secatero? That is right. And it is $600 before the discount. So that'll be $120 off for And Eddie. I cut the tag off of the Omega necklace because it was sticking out and it was looking like mini pearl. But it is a $500 before the discount. 500 before the discount, so 400. That, that is a, an Omega Bar by Franklin Tahi. Franklin uh, and Vernon Tahi are Navajo silversmiths in the Gallup area. We've got four kids all in school right now. Uh, and uh, his mother was a rug weaver. And you can see how he, he actually weaves these by hand. Um, his, his hands are all uh, calloused and wow. yeah, he, he weaves the silver. Are we talking about the Omega? Yeah, about the Mega Bar. He weaves it? Yeah, That's wild. It. And then he shapes it, of course. I brought two more because we've had a lot of people ask about okay. our neck bars. Yeah. And uh, here's two other variations of the neck bar. Um, mm -hmm. You can slide. What's that? How much was that Wild Horse? Wild Horse was 600 so on sale for 480 480 
So is that pendant or the sheep part? Sheep part. Brenda Hall, did you get the last pair of dangle earrings? Who got the last pair of dangle earrings? Rita Clark. Rita beat you to it. Brenda, we have these still. Hey, Alvin. There's Alvin Monty. He was our guest here on Saturday. Hi, Alvin. Thank you, everyone, for supporting Alvin and joining our show this last Saturday. Alvin's a Navajo silversmith from um, Tohajili. It's just here's an, the way. Here's another. This is also by Franklin and Vernon Tahi. Uh, this is a tricolor with silver, copper, and brass. And it's 120 before the discount. 120 for the discount on the tricolor Omega Bar. I don't know if I'm wearing the right neckline to really do these justice, but they rest right there at the clavicle. Just such a nice, it's just such a nice spot on the neck. Sold the copper, silver to Leslie, to Leslie Lutman. Congratulations. Drummer, give her a drum. Give her a drum. Give her a drum. Sold. Right. Sorry, Rosa. Rosa on YouTube was uh, wanting that one as well, but Leslie beat you to it. Did you um, get a price for this one, fellas? This one was 400 before the discount. Alvin likes that drum. He was sure getting into it the other day. Yeah, Alvin, I know what it's like to be you now. I'm, I'm in your spot. So that should be 320 if I did my math correctly. 320 for that sterling silver neck bar? Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Oh, whoa. That's a little stronger. You kind of have to do it at an angle a little bit. There oh, you go. it's a twisty. Yeah. Oh. Still kind of hard. Okay. No, but it's not, not going to fall it's off. It's not bad. That's cool. I like, I just love like that, where it lands. We call bracelet, so we call this an Omega neck bar. Uh, any kind of um, necklace that is this close would be a collar. Um, a little bit looser would be a choker. And you can put any pennant on it with a large bail. That's right. How pretty that is. I know some of you got some really cool pendants last, was it last week already? Yeah. Wow, time is flying by. Someone was asking to see the Cuff your what? Ooh. You're gonna take the cuff off my wrist? <laughs> this is uh, I squeezed it down a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the artist on this one? Uh, SC. Sam Castillo from Gallup. Let me double check. I've had that bracelet for probably 15 years. What? How is that possible? How is it possible? Like on sale for 15 years? No, I've had it. I've, oh, you've I've owned it. it. Yeah. Okay, I was like, how have you not <laughs> sold this in 15 years? It's amazing. I, yeah. <laughs> that stamp work is so pretty on the edges. It's 700 before the discount. It's such a classic oh, Navajo design. Navajo row bracelet. That could be Sleeping Beauty turquoise. One, two, three, four, five, it? six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stones. It is. It's a. It's. It's a little brighter than. The color. The stone is in person. The stone's just a maybe a tone darker in, in the blue color. He's not in the book. The only other SCs are not him. Hmm. We've got a uh, Susie Calabaza, who is uh, Zuni, but that is, it was Sam. I think it was Castillo, he was Navajo. But that was a long time ago. So. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Nick is going to be joining us on Saturday. Nick is watching us on YouTube right now, and we can't wait to see you, Nick, and uh, check out check out your jewelry. I think everyone's been pretty anxious. Yes, I got to see a, a sneak peek, which I actually shared. If you're following us on Facebook, we've been creating events, and so you can RSVP for those events and share them uh, with your friends and family to invite them. And so we have an event set up for Nick on Facebook for Saturday. Can you get a size on that for Debbie? Oh, yeah. What did I do with my... Is it under the sign? Probably. There it is. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. This is Oh my gosh, I'm so awkward at doing this compared to you, Shep. I've measured a lot of bracelets. <laughs> I can't even get it started. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do. <laughs> yeah, let me show you the trick. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I know a trick, but I like to pinch the top, and I put the big numbers on the inside. Okay. Like this, and then I pinch it with my thumb, and then see, I can just. Oh. Uh -huh. Six and three fourths, with a one and one eighth inch gap. Let's make that a one fourth. One and one fourth inch gap. There you go. <laughs> so that is uh, six and a half. <clears throat> yep. I squeezed it down earlier because I was wearing it. Well, ladies, we only have a few things left. You really don't have to leave these for me. It's it's okay. Somebody loves them. <laughs> I think that's all we have. That was part of our mystery grab bag. Everything else, you're just taking the jewelry off our bodies. I've got an Eddie ring from Kingman. Ooh, that is a beautiful piece of turquoise. Holy moly. Let's see here. This is a size 10, 250. That's, I just love Kingman, I think, because every on? time I see it. 200. Oh, the light's still on. The one on the camera? Oh, no. I yeah, it was like, all of a sudden it just got real blue. What's happening? Yeah, maybe it's out of batteries. I don't no. Know. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll charge oh, it back up. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must love Kingman turquoise because every time I see a Kingman stone, I freak out. Something about it. That spider web. It's beautiful. Thank you, Musa. Thank you for joining us. I guess that does it. Last call. Last call for jewelry. Leticia, Leticia, where have you been? Well, should we do some more trivia? Okay. <laughs> or I guess it's <laughs> not trivia. Q and A's. Q and A. <laughs> Q and A. I'm hiding behind the plexiglass. You, uh, I had the question last time, so it's your turn for the Q and A. Oh my gosh, that's a. What do we want to know? Who out there wants to know about us? Uh, Let's get have, a question from the audience. Do you have a question for us about, I don't know, what's your favorite food or, or what's your whatever. favorite band? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? <gasps> are you a chocolate or a vanilla person or you have something like weird? It would be weird to be a vanilla person, Shep. That's <laughs> <laughs> weird. I like chocolate chip, like the mint chip. Like what about vanilla. you? Oh my I'm god! Kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're a serial killer. <laughs> so everyone out there is going to be like, I, I like vanilla. Chocolate. I love chocolate. You know the chocolate on the chocolate with the extra mm. chocolate on it. Oh my god! We found a paleta place in Las Lunas where I live, and we took our uh, I took our girls there, and it's amazing. I don't know if you guys have paleta where you live. It's basically like a Mexican ice cream shop, and but they do amazing things. They have like frozen juices they've got like avocado and mango Ooh. and then they dip it in chili lime and like pile on strawberries it's mind-blowingly delicious i think i that's where i'm going to be going tomorrow <laughs> what is the price on the squash earrings oh i'm glad you asked they are they were 140 which means they are now 112. Yep. is that right yeah yep. these ben are so cool garcia. cherry garcia is amazing Tutti frutti. Yummy. My family, my dad, my dad's side of the family is from Maine, and we go back east all the time and we have ice cream and they've got some interesting flavors. Like Here, I'll make you put these on again. The, they're earrings that should be shown on, I think. Strawberry shake, fresh strawberries. Tutti frutti. You ever had green chili ice cream? No. Oh, uh, what? Is that a thing? Yeah. Had some lobster ice cream. That was weird. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. It's lobster ice cream. It's an abomination. It's pretty, it is pretty weird. It's not ice cream. It's an abomination. If you go to Maine, Bar Harbor, right. there's a lobster ice cream shop. <laughs> they have lobster McDonald's there. 
That makes sense. We've got green, chi green chili at McDonald's here, don't we? Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had, where did you have green chili ice cream? Where did I have ice cream? Green chili ice yeah. cream? I don't know. I think someone, I can't remember. I've had green chili ice cream. here though. I wonder if it's like it's um, green tea ice cream. Green chili wine. Ugh. Yeah, it was, it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, alrighty. Well, Maine. Yes, Tammy, I said Maine. Yes, the earrings are way better looking on. You know, I used they to are. Lobsters, yep, lots Hit of me lobsters. With the I used to mow lawns for my uncle in the summer, and for lunch I could go to the, the the little convenience store and I could either buy two hot dogs or a lobster for lunch, same price. <laughs> two hot dogs or a lobster? <laughs> that's like, that's going to be the name of my memoir. <laughs> <laughs> so random, I'm sorry. I'd usually go for the hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Two hot dogs and a lobster. <laughs> a memoir. Uh, the wild horse and turquoise earrings, those sold. Can you show? Oh no, those those Brenda bought, bought those. She was actually on oh, YouTube. Oh, she wants at the time, to see though. them again. She's crossing over between YouTube and Facebook. Can you, you bring are you those double fisting right no. now, Brenda? I got got on the both channels. The um the Eddie Secatero. Well, those yep, that's one. What's the size on that last uh, ring? That Kingman ring. On your okay. Last? The Kingman ring is a size ten. Size ten. And then these were the re the earrings that you brought or bleh, bought, uh, Brenda. And they look so pretty with the pendant. squash blossom earrings are sold to Carla. Congratulations, okay. Carla. All right, guys and gals. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening. We'll be back on Thursday for our late show at five thirty. Mountain Standard Time, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have some more uh, gallery large pieces on Friday. Friday. And then Nick, uh, Nick is watching right now. Yes. Uh, Nick Ness will be here on Saturday. It's going to be a good week. All right. Thanks for joining Thank us, everyone. everyone. Have a great night. Bye. Mm -hmm.